This is the second year for our flax desiccant study, which is being conducted at Yorkton, Indian Head, and Swift Current. The trial was designed by Chris Hazoffel at IHARF with technical support by the Saskatchewan Flax Development Commission. As you can tell from Heather's short intro from the field in 2021, our flax emerged well at Yorkton, but it's not going to yield very well due to drought. Yields were also pretty low in 2020 due to drought, albeit not as bad. However, I think we got some pretty interesting results from the study as a whole. For this video, I'm mostly going to focus on the results from Yorkton and Indian Head, where differences between treatments could be detected. At Swift Current, dry down of flax was very rapid due to hot, dry conditions in late summer for both years. As a result, no differences between desiccants and the untreated check could be detected. I should also mention that while the products used in this demonstration are registered in Saskatchewan, their use may restrict options for selling grain. Contact your grain buyer to determine if the application of a late season chemical to your flax crop will limit marketing options. Here's the treatment list for 2020, which differs somewhat from the treatments applied in 2021. The trial was designed to compare the dry down provided by Roundup alone, Roundup plus heat, and Reglone against an untreated check. This was evaluated on flax variety CDC Bethoon and CDC Glass. Desiccation with Roundup is relatively slow, but a pre-harvest application of Roundup can provide excellent perennial weed control. Tank mixing Roundup with heat was recommended to accelerate desiccation while also maintaining control of perennial weeds. Reglone alone typically provides the most rapid desiccation, but will not provide adequate control of perennial weeds. As a contact herbicide, it only provides top growth control and is not translocated into the roots like Roundup or other glyphosate products. In 2021, the Roundup plus heat treatment was dropped and the variety Sorrel was added. So now we're comparing Roundup Weather Max and Reglone against an untreated check for Bethune, Glass, and Sorrel. These are visual ratings of crop dry down for each desiccation treatment averaged over flax variety using a scale from 1 to 9. A rating of 1 indicates almost all stems are grass green and a rating of 9 would indicate all stems are medium to dark brown and very dry. These ratings were taken at 0, 7, and 14 days after application with Indian Head adding an extra observation at 4 days. Desiccants were applied at approximately the 75% brown bowl stage at both locations. The brown line of each figure is the untreated check indicating a slow rate of dry down relative to the desiccated plots. Reglone is in purple, indicating the fastest dry down of all plots. The next best dry down combination is Roundup plus Heat, represented by the gray line, and then Roundup alone as indicated by the green line. So the relative ability of products to dry down the crop turned out as expected. However, one thing that is a little strange at Yorkton is the rating curve for the untreated check. One would expect the dry down rating to increase with time, like it does at Indian Head, but it doesn't, it decreases. It decreases a little, indicating the stems may have actually greened up a bit in response to a late season rainfall after drought. In this situation, the desiccants were really of great value, even with just Roundup. Let's just look at some pictures from Yorkton, and I'll show you what I mean. These pictures from the Yorkton site were taken shortly after harvest, which was 18 days after desiccation. The cluster of four pictures on the left are the four reps for the untreated CDC Bethune, and the cluster on the right is for the untreated CDC Glass. You can see some of the stems are quite green even though the bowls were ripe enough to thresh. This is the kind of issue you run into when drought is followed by late summer rain. The crop tries to make a second go of it. Overall, CDC glass was a little greener, so I'm going to use this variety for making product comparisons. Let's just move the check for glass to the left first. Even Roundup alone looks to have done a pretty good job of desiccating the crop because it has prevented the plants from recovering from the drought. 
From these pictures, it's hard to see any differences when heat was added to the Roundup. Or between Roundup alone versus Reglone at our Yorkton site. However, let's have a look at the stem moisture taken at harvest from Yorkton and the Indian Head sites. Percent stem moisture at harvest is probably the best indicator of how well the desiccants are working. This table shows the main effects of variety and desiccant treatment. CDC Bethune had a higher stem moisture content at both sites, but the difference was only significant at Indian Head. Compared to the untreated control, Roundup alone significantly reduced stem moisture at both locations. The addition of heat to Roundup significantly reduced stem moisture more at Indian Head, and Reglone significantly reduced stem moisture the most at both locations. Here we have the main effects for seed yield from 2020. CDC glass yielded significantly more than Bethune at Indian Head and Yorkton. Yield did not significantly differ between any of the desiccation treatments at any of the locations, which is what we like to see. Now let's have a look at the 2021 results, which were a bit different at Yorkton, because I made a mistake. Here we have the dry down ratings for Indian Head and Yorkton in 2021. Indian Head followed a similar pattern to 2020, where the dry down for Reglone in blue was quicker than glyphosate in green, and of course, both products were better than the untreated Czech and brown. At Yorkton, flax treated with glyphosate was drying down faster than the untreated Czech and brown. But Reglone in blue is not doing much better than the untreated Czech. I did something wrong when applying the Reglone. See if you can guess before I tell you. Here are the main effects of variety and desiccation treatment on stem moisture at harvest. There weren't any interactions to suggest products work differently on varieties. At Indian Head, Roundup and Reglone have greatly reduced stem moisture relative to the untreated control. At Yorkton, the Reglone has decreased stem moisture relative to the check, but not near as well as Roundup. I was expecting better performance from the Reglone. What did I do? I know what you're thinking, but my water volumes were still high when applying the Reglone. Here are the main effects on seed yield. Yields were much lower in 2021 compared to 2020, particularly for Yorkton. CDC Sorel was the lowest yielding variety at Indian Head, but the highest yielding variety at Yorkton. This time the desiccated plots were somewhat lower yielding at both sites, which really isn't what we would like to see. While it could imply an early application of product is causing crop injury, it is more likely the result of greater seed pod fragility at harvest with the desiccated plots. We harvested the untreated and desiccated plots all at the same time, so I wouldn't read too much into these differences. So, what did I do wrong when applying Reglone? I think this is one of those times when the purpose of my life is to serve as a warning to others. I applied the Reglone on the morning of a hot, sunny day. That's it. I didn't think anything of it. Liberty is a contact herbicide and performs better on sunny days, so Reglone should do the same, right? Wrong. While Reglone is activated by the sun, it needs time to diffuse across plant surfaces before activation to ensure uniform and complete desiccation. I should have sprayed on a cloudy day or into the evening like the crop protection guide says to do. The weather was also against me. It is ideal to apply Reglone when the longer term weather outlook is for a warming trend that is conducive to drying. While the day after I applied the desiccants was hot, greater than 30 degrees Celsius, much of the weather for the two week period following applications was relatively cool and wet. In contrast, Reglone worked well, quite well, at Indian Head. As treatments were applied late in the evening and at the end of a cool, wet period with an extended stretch of warm, dry weather following the applications. By the way, you can thank Chris Holzapfel for much of this insight. So the good news is that desiccation products can increase dry down of the flax crop. However, their efficacy will depend on environmental conditions leading up to and following application. 
At Swift Current, under low-yielding, droughty conditions with hot, dry weather in late summer, desiccants provided no benefit. If weather is wet and harvest will likely be delayed until late September or beyond, pre-harvest Roundup or Reglone can be beneficial. The best product will depend on several factors. Roundup is less expensive than Reglone, provides perennial weed control, and will prevent the regrowth of the crop even if wet conditions persist. However, Roundup may provide slower desiccation compared to Reglone when Reglone is used correctly under favorable conditions. If you need rapid dry down and perennial weed control, you could apply Roundup first followed by Reglone a few days later to allow time for the glyphosate to translocate to the roots. This is kind of pricey though. So we do have desiccant options for flax, but what the end user will accept can change. Here's Heather from the field with a final comment. Unfortunately, not all end users will accept flax treated with desiccants. So be aware of the latest restrictions before using any of these products. More information is available from SAS Flax.